Welcome back. Mike just talking to Dennis, our stage manager here, about Tiger not even making the cut. Always like their golf conversations oh, on yeah. camera. They're mm -hmm. very entertaining. But let's get right into the Tigers. To me, yes. I, I think they got to go out on this road trip and at least win five out of seven from Seattle and Oakland. This is the point of demarcation. You got Fister going. Let's get it turned in the right direction. Of demarcation. I like that. Thank you. Know. Uh, hit you my, with the big words. My standards aren't as high for you as, as yours. Win, f win your road trip. Go four and three. I, that'd be okay. Actually, it's a nine-game road trip, isn't there? It is, but I'm talking about these oh, this ones. Week? Yeah, not four, so certain about going three. to Chicago. Although four and they, three. they did have success in Chicago last year. They traditionally haven't had a ton right. of success in Chicago. But I'm talking about going out to the West Coast and beating up on the bad teams. It, w it would be nice to do that, con considering Seattle came in here and uh, lit us up a little bit. Or I should say lit the Tigers up. I don't play for them. Uh, it'd be nice. Fister starting, you know, tomorrow, and then you get things going. So, look, starting pitching has not been the problem. The problem with this team right now, and look, they did win the series with Chicago. Let's not forget that. They did win three great starts from, you know, Porcello today, Scherzer yesterday, and, and, and Smiley on Friday. The problem has been the back end of the bullpen and uh, the hitting, the, cl How? the clutch hitting. But you surprised me with yes, some I of did. these numbers. Get into these numbers because cause these be are very interesting. Because I, I feel sometimes and I'm as guilty as anybody. We watch the Tigers so closely. We say, "Oh, they got to be the they got to be the worst." Uh, batting average with score with guys in running run, running position, scoring position, runners in scoring position. Their batting average, they're fourth in the American League. Runs scored, they're tenth in the American League. But at least they're statistically they're they, they're hitting the ball. Although I don't know when, <laughs> I don't know where, especially today. I mean, every time they came up to the bat, bat with guys in running, guys in scoring position, they couldn't get a hit. So that that's the problem because look, as bad as Valverde's been, and he did get the save today. Although, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, yep. even more than last year, uh, they got to they got to be able to hit. And I agree with Jim Lee, they will hit the ball. And uh, got to love Andy Dirks. Yeah, nice job in the two spot. Yeah. I want to transition over to the, your reaction and the Jewish community's reaction to the Delman Young contrition, the uh, little interview he did in the clubhouse, in the mm -hmm. dugout on Friday. How did you receive that? I thought it was pretty good. I thought, you know, usually when these things happen, they'll read a statement and walk away. I thought the fact that he took questions from the media was good. Look, actions speak louder than words. We'll, we'll see what happens. Obviously, we don't know what happened. He probably doesn't even know what happened because he was so drunk. Uh, like I said last week, I don't get offended. It was just something stupid th th that he should have said. And I still think the Tigers should have made a stronger, at least, statement saying that they uh, condemn what he said. That was in New York on Friday. He got roasted a week later in the New York Post. I mean, they went all in on him and calling him an anti-Semite and everything else. They were really going hard. Well, they might know th other stuff because I, I don't think it when you do something like that once, especially when you're drunk, unless there are other things, you know, saying the one, you know, the K word, so to speak, right. that's a different story. If he said that, then all, all bets are off. What's your take on these NBA playoffs and, and perhaps even your thoughts on the LA Kings beating the St. Louis Blues in the Stanley Cup playoffs? Well, for first, basketball, you know, I'm, I belong to the anyone but Miami club. And it was nice to see them lose today just so they'll have to at least play another game. Maybe, Maybe someone will get hurt. It's been that way. You said it, not me. <laughs> you ever notice that Dwayne Wade, as great as he is, is the biggest diva in sports? Paul, more it? than Paul Pierce? Yeah. Oh, God. It's like oh, every time he complains, he gets hurt, and then he plays and all that stuff. LeBron's playing out of his gourd right now. He's playing great. Uh, so, obviously, especially with Chicago's <laughs> injuries, uh, Miami's going to breeze through the East. And the West is really fun to watch. I mean, great Oklahoma basketball, City's yep. great. San Antonio's playing really good. Don't count out the Lakers yet. I, I think it's going to be Oklahoma City against Miami. And I Oklahoma City has matchups. They can beat them if they can match up with them uh, mentally. As far as the hockey, I think it would be great to see the Los Angeles Kings win the Stanley Cup. Now, being from Philly, I'd rather have the Flyers win. But the best thing for the league would be to have the Kings and the Rangers. See, I'm a believer in that, too. They don't get a lot of pub no. national aid. So to be in the big markets at this stage of the game, when we have really seen good hockey played in the Stanley Cup, it, would but help. It, but it ticks you off knowing that the Red Wings could have, you know, not played like, you know what, they could be uh, – few wins away from getting to the Stanley Cup Finals. but That's uh, how it goes. Yes, I That's know. It. Instead, they're playing in the World Championships, many yeah. of these players. Stonehead of the Week, another easy one this week. It was Delman last week, this week. Oh, yes. New York Nick 
Amari Stoudemire, after game two, when the Knicks lose to the Heat, he gets angry. I like to see the passion, but he smashes his arm, his hand, on the glass casing of a fire extinguisher out of game three. Amari Stoudemire, you never play defense. Now even your offense was ridiculous. In the locker room, you, my friend, are Stonehead. That is Mike Stone. He did play well today, though, with I'll the stitches him, and the wraps. I'll so give him credit for gets that. Gets a few points. He still for that. can't play defense. I don't understand how. Not a guy there like for that defense. defense. Not there for defense. He's there for the name and the offense, and he is now a Stonehead. That's Mike Stone, six to ten on ninety-seven one. The ticket Monday to Friday, and of course every Sunday right here on the update. Stay with us. We're back right after this. Stony Stonehead of the Week is brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding, the best mortgage bankers. Call 1-800-LOW-RATE.